All right, so we're all set up now. We've got our mojo list dialed in. We've got our, our sub list created. We've got our group with our lead in there just waiting to be tested. Think of it this way. Here's what we're gonna be working on now. If you did not have this integration and what most systems have is anytime you make a great contact and they say, send me some information, you gotta stop, pause, get the dialer on, uh, put the dialer on pause, open up your conversion or open up your follow-up boss, manually type in all the information, manually update the property address. I'm tired just talking about it. What we wanna do is we wanna get the technologies to work together because as you know, we do not want to do data entry as salespeople. So think of it this way. You've got an island with your dialer. You've got an island with your CRM. You need a bridge in between them so that the data from one goes to the data to the other. That's what we're going to do. So now that we've got Mojo all squared away, we're going to go ahead and, and log in. And again, quick tip, have this video so you can pause it if you get lost for a second. Have your how-to document up and also have the other tabs with your other CRM. If you want to go ahead and, and jump forward, log into Zapier, log into KV Core, um, and that'll help you out. But either way, we're going to go through it step by step. All right, so... Let's get ready. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click Create Zap. So once we log into Zapier, we're gonna click on Create Zap. That'll load up the, uh, uh, the trigger. What we've gotta do is we've gotta trigger an action and an event. The first thing that happens when we click on, on starting a new Zap, it'll say, what's the trigger? So in this search box right here, we're gonna go ahead and click on Mojo. It's gonna load up right here that'll say Mojo. Super simple, click on that. Okay, now we've gotta choose an event. What do we wanna do? Um, what do we want to happen when we click on, uh, on that group? First thing we wanna do is we want a, a new contact in a group. So we're dialing, they say send me some information and we wanna take them out of that property list and put them into the bucket. This first option right here is exactly what we want, new contact in group. It'll highlight blue, go ahead and click continue. Next, it'll say, let's connect your Mojo account to Zapier. Now, the first time you do that, simply click on connect a new account. It'll load up your Mojo login. You're now, you're not seeing it on the screen, but it'll load up a box that says log into Mojo. And once you do that, it'll connect the two and then become an integration right here in the selection menu. So you click here, it'll open up Mojo, it'll have your account. It'll connect the two and it'll say to continue, finish. As soon as that loads up, it'll highlight blue and you're good to go. You click continue. Now, it's going to ask you what group does this zap want to work for? You click on the search box and let's just go ahead and type in send to. And you'll notice that custom group that we already created, that's going to be in here. Whether it's send to KV Core, send to follow up boss, whatever it is. Uh, it'll be right here. You find the group that you just created that you put the test lead in. You click on that. It'll find it. Click continue. Now it's going to load up and say, let's test the trigger, which is why we put that, that lead inside that group first. We'll click test your trigger. We'll hit continue and test. It'll go through and it'll see, can we find that lead? And voila, that lead that we put up inside of that custom group in mojo that we created is now here and it's going to pull all of this data automatically once we verify that is the correct lead we'll hit continue now once we click continue we're on step 12 now that we've said hey this is what's going to trigger the action now we got to tell them what's the event okay and i use kv core i'm going to click on i'm going to type in kv it's going to say kv core I'm going to click on it. Now, side note, if you use follow up boss, go to Google and type in follow up boss and Mojo integration. One, you can call follow up boss and they will walk you through step by step. Two, there's a couple good videos right here in the first and primary position. And you also have some really great help center. They've got phenomenal customer service and they'll walk you through step by step. But for this, we're walking through KV Core, so if you're with EXP, first class real estate, et cetera, you're gonna have that as part of your brokerage, uh, brokerage offering. And uh, we're gonna select that and get back to, to building the, the, uh, the bridge. So now we, we have to select an event, we click inside, and we want it to create a new contact. So when we create it, we, when we throw them in that group, it's gonna then create a new contact. We're building the bridge in between the two technology islands. 
It'll load up and say continue. It really is this easy. Okay, now it's gonna ask us to log into KV Core the same way we had to connect our Mojo account. We're gonna have to connect our, our uh, KV Core account. When we click on create, to uh, when we click on connect the account, what's gonna happen is this screen right here is gonna be accessed and say, let's go ahead and ask us for the Zapier, uh, the Zapier key. Now the Zapier key is what's going to connect the two. It's really easy to find. Go into Mojo. So you're gonna log into Mojo. After you log into Mojo on the left-hand side, if you're at the dashboard, uh, all you have to do is look on the left-hand side, one, two, three, four, five, six icons down will be lead engine tools. I'm gonna hover over all lead engine tools. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna then look for the lead drop box. Sync any lead source in KV Core. I'm gonna click on that. And right here, you're gonna see Zapier Learning Portal, connecting to Zapier apps. You're gonna see Zapier apps and, and give you a whole library. But for here, all we wanna do is scroll down. You'll see creating new leads. Now yours is gonna be the agent key. If, you have a, if you're an office owner, you gotta decide whether you wanna send it to a specific agent. For you as a single agent, right here is your Zapier key. You click copy and you go right back to your, your uh, Zapier key input. So again, I'm gonna click copy right here. I'm gonna then go over here. I'm gonna paste it. Now I wanna make sure it also, by the way, you'll notice that there's no spaces there and I wanna make sure there's no spaces there. Once I click yes and continue, then it will load up and I will have my account right here. I click on select. It's loaded up my personal account. I click continue. And now I've got to align the data. So what we've done so far, I know. Woo! Step by step, we're almost to the finish line. Okay, if you need a break, pause, get some lemonade, maybe a little Kool-Aid, I don't know. But what we're gonna do next is we've, we've set up Mojo with our property list. We've created the custom group. We've created the bridge in between the two different technologies. Now we've got, to, we've got to align the data because the data gets displayed one way in Mojo, it gets displayed another way in our CRM and they don't always line up. So this space right here, go slow. This is where your data is gonna line up and this is where if you forget something, you gotta start all over again. This is double and triple check status. Okay, so first name, I click on it and you'll notice that it'll give me the data directly from Mojo. And you can see right here, it's got a Mojo icon. So you know, this is how the data is displayed in Mojo. First name, here. I click on it, and now you'll notice that it's going to pull the first name. Lead type, okay, are they buyer, are they seller? Well, this is a seller. Click on that. Last name, click on that, okay. Email. Show all options, scroll down, emails. Now, sometimes the data comes in with different emails. This lead did not have an email. And by the way, I can have my Mojo tab. Notice I've got my Zapier, my KV Core, and my Mojo tab. I can go to that custom group. I can open up this lead, and you'll notice that there is no email address there. If it was, I would have that there. But just because it's not on this lead, doesn't mean I don't want email addresses. So I'm gonna go ahead right here and right where it says email, I'm gonna select on that. I'm gonna click show all options and I'm gonna select emails. Okay, I still, even though there's no data on this lead, if there's data on the next lead or a different lead, I want it to be there. Cell phone one, okay, I'm gonna scroll down. I wanna get the primary phone number, okay? Same thing here, you know what, this is a mistake right here. I wanna get rid of this. I wanna make sure I have the primary email come in right here. Okay, so one of the tricks with the CRMs, make sure the primary email and make sure the primary phone number are within those areas. And then for cell phone two, I can add all of the different phone numbers because usually there's going to be more than one phone and if I can't find the phones, I just type the word phone and I click on the phones.
Okay, lead status, I get to choose how I want the lead to come into my CRM. Former catcher, capture method, I'm going to leave that alone. Source, whatever I want my source to be, whether it's Vulcan or Mojo, I'm going to go ahead and type that in there. Okay, now this has to be, we use Vulcan 7 data. I want to make sure that it says Vulcan. Okay, date registered. I could change it to create the on deck, but, but the CRM is going to create the date that they registered. This would be something for, for like internet leads. Interested in a city, not applicable. Interested in price, not applicable. Interested in MLS number. These are sellers, right? Now, primary address, the street. So I'll come in here. I'll type in primary. And you'll notice that, oh, no, let's do this. Sorry. Let's go address. Okay. Now there's two different types of addresses. There's the tax address and there's the property address. What I want to do for this integration. So I want to use the primary address. If I am going, I'm not going to be using a thanks.io integration. So inside of the smart plan, you notice that the third step is automatically sending them a thanks.io postcard. If I'm using follow up boss or any other system that doesn't have that feature, then I'm going to go with primary address. However, if I'm going to use that feature and fully maximize the power of the KV core system with all their different integrations, I'm going to use the tax address. And the reason why is the tax address is going to be the place where the, the primary address inside of KV core is where the postcard is going to get sent. Okay. Now inside of Mojo, oftentimes there is one address or two address. Now on this one, for example, I'll give you an example right now. So right here, both addresses are the same. So by sending it to the tax address, which is the secondary address, I win either way. Okay. However, sometimes you're going to have a situation like this one where the primary address is different than the tax address. I don't want to send it to the rental property. I don't want to send it to the property that they don't live at. I want the highest chance that that postcard, that note card is going to get into the owner's mailbox. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the tax address for my KV core integration, going back to Zapier, I'm going to make sure that the tax address is going to be listed inside of the main columns for uh, for KV core. I do that. Now we've got primary address city inside of the search field tax city inside of this, the state. Oops, wrong box. And by the way, if you get stuck on this, which I did a couple times in the beginning, simply come to the mastermind group that you already paid for. You get a free month of it. Come to the mastermind group. We'll walk you through it. Again, clicking on each column, going to where I need to go, tax city, tax zip. Okay, zip code, mailing zip code. That's the one I want. Okay, this is automatically going to be assigned to your Zapier key. You can ignore that. For notes, type in notes and the remarks. That way all the remarks come over, sign to the agent ID, and also I can tag it with whatever I want. Whatever I want. Okay, once those items are lined up, I'm going to hit continue. It will say, hey, we're going to pull this information, any other integrations you want. Hit continue or test action. And a contact was sent to KV Core. And by the way, I literally just got this KV Core lead while we're on the training. That lead just instantly went into my CRM. Okay. So I know it's working. I click publish zap. But before I do that, I'm going to title this Mojo to KV core. I hit save. They were saved. I hit publish and boom, I am done. So now 
every single time somebody says, send me some information, Josh, send me some documents, send me some information, send me a note card, send me this, send me that. No problem. Once I'm inside, I go ahead and click on the bucket and it automatically sends them into my CRM. You now have a system that works together, talks together, plays together, and you don't have to stop. So you throw them in KV Core, you set up the automated custom plan that is just with one click, that'll be in the next video, and you're off and running. Be well, and again, if you got stuck, if you got frustrated, don't worry about it. There's a mastermind group for that, and again, just show up, we'll get it knocked out, no big deal. Be well and we'll catch up soon.